evening. It's Thursday, September 26, 2024. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Passing the Hat, and our scripture is Mark, chapter 10. And Jesus called to them and said to them, You know that those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Dr. Stanley Watson was professor of marriage and family at New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary in 1982. He told us students about taking the offering in his small southwestern Oklahoma church. Every time a certain deacon took the offering, the collection was about double the norm. Well, the pastor determined to find out why and asked another member if he knew the reason. The man replied, certainly I do. Every time Zach takes the offering, he uses that 10-gallon hat of his instead of the offering plate. And pastor, you know that crease in the top of the hat? Well, when he turns the hat in your direction, you can see the barrel of his pearl-handled 44 sticking out from under that crease. Pastor, do you know how big a 44 barrel hold is? (laughs) Well, the disciples, James and John, had asked Jesus to be elevated to the position of left and right hand men in his kingdom. It's a natural thing to be drawn to possessing power. And those brothers had seen in Jesus at work. They knew he was the source of power, and they wanted in on that. Jesus' answer turned their view upside down. He told them the kingdom would not be about lording power over others, but an empowered people to better serve each other. John and James had asked to be set up as authority over others. Jesus told them their pistol-under-the-hat kind of power to compel others was a non-starter. In our culture, authority and power are seen by many as a goal. We keep score of who has the most money, who got elected the most, or what company has grown the fastest, or who has the most followers on Instagram. Fame, fortune, and the latest, greatest, newest, or best of anything is how you're perceived to be on top of the heap. Now, while there's nothing evil about excellence in doing what God designed you to do, if getting to the top becomes your passion, like James and John asked of Jesus, you've missed the whole point of who's God and who is not. Jesus told the disciples that kind of thinking needs to hit the scrap heap. Their passion had to be directed towards serving others, not wearing badges of authority. And for good measure, he offered himself as an example. He came to be chief servant of all, to die for even the worst of sinners. History proves those men got the point. For you today, if you're looking for a surefire principle that will lead you to the top of the kingdom heap someday, it will not be with the world's standards of measuring success. But if your heart is set on serving, you're already a success. And on that day, you'll see the Lord face to face, and you'll hear those most treasured of words, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.